the right hand of ragtime uses this pattern. Most of, the, most of the melody is going to be an octave, and you put the rest of the chord in the middle, normally a major triad, in the key of D, of course that's F sharp and A, and you have this pattern. It's, there's like two parts to it. So the first part is... And then... So just hear that again, with the left hand even. That's the feeling, the pulse that you need to have in uh, in ragtime. So uh, let's try that on E. Uh, you don't need really to do it on A. It's normally on D and G. So um, a nice little pattern to learn is. Just that. It's from the maple leaf rag, but it's a nice practice because it appears in many ragtime songs. Uh, of course, it goes beyond that, but. It goes like that if you're curious. <laughs> DNA. That's one thing to do. Now, the second thing that you do in uh, ragtime is that you you play the whole chord as a block chord, and you move either a semitone up or down, or a whole a whole step, a whole tone, which is very common. So you, you get that a lot in the um, black and white rag. Of course, the actual tutorial is in the next part, but the melody. Now, many, many of those parts you can do as a block chord, and you just take notes from the actual chord that you're on. So when you go on that little part at the end, you can put that in a chord. So the chord is D7 at that point. That's all on D7. So instead of just playing this, you can put an E in it, which is the 9, and the F sharp, which is the, uh, the third, of course. That's what gives you that sound. It's nice. You could put a G in it, which is an 11. Kind of works, but um, yeah, it's a bit, bit safer to use that. Um, so that would go like this, and only the top notes are moving, not the middle. I just did a nice little flourish there. You just go, just rolling it, and then it goes uh, here. So I can put the C, which is the seven, and the E is nice. Lovely note there. And then we land on G. So you just finish with the D and the G of the chord. So that's, that, that's what makes ragtime sound a lot richer. So, um... thing to do. They're really only the two things that you do, really. Now, um, the uh, the melody, there's different ways to do the melody. If you want it to sound a lot more syncopated, instead of just doing this, you can just simply octivize, octivize it, octivate, whatever the verb is. So you'd go, so it's now the thumb as well. then it would be on the E because it's normally like this B flat B and E so you'd, you'd make the E an octave so it just sounds a little bit different and then you do that bit I just done so you can you know uh, also a beef it out a little bit uh, so that, that, they're the main things to do with the right hand. So you really do need to get used to just in any chord and any key. You, of course, focus on D and G and E and A minor and and C as well, and just get used to moving that top note around. Only a whole. You'll never really go beyond a whole step, to be honest. So you know, that that'd be a half step, and that's the whole step from C or from D. It's only going to C. It's rare that you'll go all the way down like that. You can go up like that. 
half step, half step, and a lot of the melodies are based on that. So that's it. So you just get used to playing that feeling. I'll just do any. I'll just do any little melody. And then, of course, you can do the syncopation, which I just hinted at there, where you would go. You're just opening it up. So just do that anywhere uh, on, on G. On E. I'm just mixing up that block movement and the syncopation. So uh, when you put it all together, you know, you get that, that's, that's where the maple leaf rag comes from. It's just doing those two techniques, that block movement or opening it out a little bit. You just have to have that left hand on absolute autopilot with the stride uh, to work and you know, make it work. So if you can practice those two hands, uh, then you'll be ready to take on uh, the black and white rag, which will be part two, and uh, or part three, however I've labelled these, and uh, you'll be away. You'll be able to play and approach any ragtime. Of course, they, most ragtimes have other little bits in them, uh, which are interesting. So yeah, get, uh, get those two hands down, and uh, you should be good to go.